you know, even at 30 FPS, the fact that I can do this, the fact that I can play this game, with everything set to the ultra settings on a Samsung CH60 or GH60 or CHG60, I'm sorry, ultra wide, 32 by 9, 3840 by 1080 widescreen monitor, the fact that I can play through shadow flight simulator with ultra settings at 32 by 9 ratio with 3840 by 1080 resolution, I think it's amazing the fact that I can do that. Yes, I know it's 30 FPS. I know it's not, uh, you know, 60 or even 48 frames per second. But let me tell you, even with high-end PCs, with this monitor, they're struggling to hit 60 FPS, maybe 48 frames per second with the ultra settings. So the fact that I'm using Shadow and that I'm running this on the Shadow Boost tier, uh, everything set to maximum ultra settings with this ultra widescreen monitor, it's pretty amazing, you know. We're going to go ahead and take off. We're going to go to New York. Uh, the reason I'm showing you this and the reason I'm recording this, it's because I want you to see that for those of you who don't have Shadow and who are maybe thinking about buying a PC, um, I think you will be... Uh, pleasantly surprised by shadow and what's possible with shadow and what you can do with shadow yeah i know it's not you know you know 60 fps or higher i know it's 30 fps maybe 28 to 30 but it's still pretty darn good that you are even able to play this game on shadow you know and this is i think a testament that cloud technology it's working, and it's only going to get better and better and better. Uh, you know, this is a pretty high resolution, you know, 3840 by 1080. Uh, it's not a, you know, just a simple 1080p. It's higher than 1080p, uh, but it's a much wider uh, ratio, which, of course, requires more bandwidth, which requires more rendering, but... Um, it's still impressive, you know, that I'm doing this on the shadow. And it just looks amazing. Let's go to New York City. Uh, there's New York City right there. Check it out. This video is recorded in 4K. I just want to see, like as to how well when everything it's set to the ultra settings how well uh the bandwidth it's handling this remember we're using the shadow internet to render for the geometry we're not using obviously our internet to do that so that's another uh benefit here if you ask me personally i think this is great Not bad, not bad at all, man. Like I said, we're getting something between 28 to 30 FPS. Not super great. But hey, you know. It's remarkable that I can even play this. <laughs> at this resolution, at this kind of uh, frame rate on on shadow. Obviously, this looks much better in person. 
when you see this in person, uh, when you see this big giant 50 inch ultra wide monitor. Now you don't have to use the ultra wide monitor like I'm using for the shadow. You can use a 1080p and you'll be okay. Uh, you'll have probably uh, even better performance. Maybe like, uh, you know, 36 frames per second or 38 frames. Hell, you might even get like to 40 frames per second. But um, this is just a test. You know, I'm testing this just to uh, showcase to you guys uh, what Shadow it's capable of. And also what cloud technology it's capable of. You know what I mean? Of course, once they upgrade their machines with better GPU and better CPU and more memory, of course, it's going to be so much much better but this is still impressive you know <clears throat> let's slow down a little bit let's go down to the uh, Empire State Building right here like that so we can get a better look also, I'm using uh, 50 megabits uh, per second uh, bitrate here, so it looks really good. Look at all that detail down at, at the city. Look at this, man. This looks amazing. Let me adjust my, uh, there we go, my low light so you guys can see it better. That looks fantastic, man. Yeah, shadow ultra settings. I didn't even think that I was going to be even able to do this, let alone play this. And this just looks remarkable, man. Look at the the Manhattan. Look at the, uh, you know, Central Park and everything. It just looks amazing. You got to keep in mind everything looks better in person than what you're seeing here obviously on the uh on the camera. So uh yeah man this is remarkable. So there you have it, just a little video, just wanted to showcase this uh, so you guys can see it for yourself. Um, I just want to say one thing before I end this video. I'm like convinced, and I know I'm not the only one, uh, you know, uh, Cameron, Mamba Man, uh, Brandon, we're all convinced, even Steven, we're all convinced that cloud technology is going to be the future. There's just no... There's no question about that in my mind, you know. So, and I think all of these videos that I'm showing you about the cloud technology, I think it only proves furthermore as to uh, what's going to be possible in the future. Well, there you have it, guys. Thank you for watching, and uh, I'll see you today on the Star Wars Lego live stream. Uh, I also might have a video on the Lego Star Wars, uh, PlayStation 5, C10 OLED, HDR settings. So keep an eye on that, guys. Keep an eye on that.
Well, can I make it? Can I make it? Come on. Come on, Mr. 4K. Come on. Come on, dude. This is your moment to shine. <laughs> ah, well. Ah, well. It's better than nothing, I guess. All right, whatever. Uh, it could. I mean, I could have done a better landing, but, you know. Well, anyway, there you have it, guys. Thank you for watching, and... Um, Yes, you can uh, turn on, you can actually open the canopy. People ask, uh, yeah, can you open the canopy in F-22 Raptor? Yes, you press the left thumbstick, you move this little uh, circular cursor, and you click twice uh, to, uh, to open the canopy. And there it is, voila, it's opened, and you're ready to rock and roll. And there you have it. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, like I said, today I have two videos coming out. I have uh, Star Wars uh, Skywalker Saga HDR settings on the C10 for the PlayStation 5. And then we're going to do a live stream at 7 o'clock. So I'll see you guys at 7 o'clock today. Happy Saturday, guys. Cheers.